Hi everyone, welcome back to Beauty by Trish. And today I am coming to you, I'm excited. I'm coming to you with two of my beautiful friends here on YouTube, Natalie the Beauty Diva and Amy from Amy Miranda's Makeup. I am thrilled to be doing another favorites collab with these two beautiful ladies and they are both beautiful inside and out. I love them both dearly. If you have heard me talk about either of them before, you know that. Natalie is absolutely such a generous, beautiful heart, and she has become such a good, good dear friend to me. I think Natalie and I are sisters. I do. She, it's like we are so in tune to each other. She knows when I'm having a bad day, and I can sense when she's having a bad day, and we know each other are there for each other. I love her so much. She puts so much into her beauty channel. She cares so much about everybody. It, it is it is important for her to respond to every single comment. That's why she does one video a week because she wants to make sure she has the time. She has a very busy life. She wants to make sure she takes the time to make you feel special for giving her your time. She is a loving, kind person. People have no idea. They honestly have no idea what an amazing, unique, special person she is. And I am so blessed to have you in my life, Natalie. And you know I love you. And Amy, Amy and I have gotten closer and I hope we continue to get closer and closer. I just love her to death. She does beautiful looks. She thinks outside of the box for her video creating ideas. She right now has been doing different colors. Um, the one, the video I watched today was about how to wear a yellow eyeshadow. These are things that are going to be so helpful to people because I personally have seen people look at palettes and because of a green or a yellow or an orange, they've been like, oh, I can't get that palette. So Amy is taking the next step and she's thinking outside of the box and she is making it easy for us all to see how we can use any collar. We can use any collar with a little bit of helpful tips. So check Natalie and Amy out. You will love them both. I could go on and on about these ladies forever, but then my video would be long. And I'm, if you've noticed, I'm trying to keep it a little shorter. My weekly reviews, I kick back and spend a little more time saying that. I, when I do my monthly favorites, I'm going to pick things that I haven't been talking about. I go in pretty good depth, I think, in my weekly reviews. So for my monthlies, I'm gonna talk about other things. I'm not gonna keep rehashing, rehashing. If it's something that's really phenomenal, that I love that month and it has become part of my permanent love collection, then guess what? I might mention it, but I'm not going to spend a lot of time there. So, in saying that, let's get it out of the way. Let's just get it out of the way. L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. Two thumbs up. If I had more thumbs, it would have more thumbs up. I did a first impressions. I will link it below. I did a 10 day wear test. 10 day for me, 7 day for my mother. I go into a lot of detail, how I wore it, what I use, primers, different powders, etc., etc., etc. I'll link that down below also. First thing I'm going to link down below is Natalie and Amy's monthly favorites, so please check those out. Thinking back if you want to see about this. Periodically through the month, I have used these eyeshadows, and I don't think I've featured them in a week in review because it's just been kind of hit and miss through the month. But I know a lot of people really, really want to build their collection. And, you know, economy is not the best. So I want to be able to bring you some drugstore things that really have impressed me and that I've had a lot of fun with and that I would definitely keep in my, definitely keep in my rotation. And one of those things is actually these NYX Ultimate Palettes. I created this look with these palettes and they're just they're just beautiful. They're this is the cool neutrals. You know, a lot of people look at the Viseart palettes. I have the Viseart palettes and I love the Viseart palettes. But I'm telling you, if you're on a budget, if you're wanting multiple colors to be able to do multiple looks with, maybe you're wanting to freelance and you just want 
and you just want to be able to have something to work from, then this could be a good option if if money if economy is kind of hitting you hitting you in the gut right now, so to speak. And then this last one. And a lot of times, you know, wait till wait till Nix's buy one get one half off. Or if you go and you sign up for Nix's emails, a lot of times they send coupons for a percentage off. These are really nice palettes. I have absolutely not one bit of hesitation telling you that you're going to get the color payoff that you want. You're going to get the wear time that you want. Blendability is an ease. Just beautiful. Did I already get on that one? No. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful colors. And they wear nice. They blend nice, but they don't get muddy. This is, like I said, I used, what did I use? What did I use? I have this from the Smoke and Highlight palette, I used this color right here, this kind of a burgundy. I put that in my crease, and then I put this on the inner three quarters of my lid, and this on the outer three quarters of my lid. And I did want to deepen it up a little bit, so I actually went in and used this blue. I wanted a little bit of a contrast. Since I was using so much green, I wanted just a little bit of a deepening contrast. But I didn't want a brown. I didn't want a, a deeper green. And I didn't want a black. So I opted for the navy and I've enjoyed the look. Easy to work with. Goes on nicely. Of course, there's a little bit of fallout, so you do have to tap that brush off you're going to be good to go. These are really, really fun palettes, fun palettes to play with. I think my standout, standalone, favorite mascara for the month, drumroll please, is the It Superhero Mascara. Still, I just, this is an amazing mascara. If you can at all afford this, get it. Get it. I can't, I cannot say enough. What a great mascara this is. If you do not want to spend 20 plus dollars on a mascara for whatever reason, this the Colossal Spider Effect Mascara, it's the one I wore today. I will repurchase this and not the It just because they do the same thing. I get the same results with my lashes from both mascaras. And this is like $5.99 or something. So, super great mascara. I recommend it. It comes in waterproof and it comes in regular. This is the brush and I absolutely love this mascara. So, for my high-end girls, for my drugstore girls, you have options. Revlon Ultra HD Lip Collar, their liquid lip collar. They came out with a couple new collars. And one is this one, and it is called Forever Internight. And this is it. I have it on right now. I have really been enjoying this. It is just such an easy, thoughtless pop a collar on and go. It doesn't feel dry. It doesn't look weird on my lips. I really do like this formula. It's a really nice drugstore option. And this does have an SPF of 30, so... Yay, yay, yay. Double thumbs up on this too. So now I'm going to switch over because normally I save my body care, my hair care, that kind of thing for my month, for my monthly favorites. And I'm going to start out now with shampoo conditioner. I had shared with you guys before, I got this Shea Moisture Super Fruit Complex 10-in-1 Renewal System. And I told you that I love this. This is my second container of it. I just got some CVS Rewards. I got two more. I love this stuff. It's $12.99. You can get it at Ulta. They just had it, I think. Buy one, get one half off. This, my hair is just so fine. And since I'm letting it grow out a little, 
of course, is fine and thin as it is, it's going to weigh down very easily. I can use this hair mask and it is a thick hair mask. See? Oh, it smells so good. It just smells good and fresh and clean. I can use this and still get good two to three day hair. This is three day hair and I curled it today. Love this stuff. It does not weigh my hair down. It keeps it nice, soft, moisturized, but not heavy. And I just cannot tell you if you have fine, thin hair and hair masks and deep conditioners weigh you down, this is a good one to try. I liked it so much, in fact, that I did have some other CVS dollars for hair care, and I picked up Shea Moisture Super Fruit Complex 10-in-1 Renewal Shampoo, and this is the conditioner. As far as a conditioner goes, it is a pretty thick conditioner, not quite as thick as the hair mask. This and this one to two times a week, because I did just do a process on my hair, so been babying a little. Do this one, two times a week, and then the other days I do this. And I've really been enjoying the results I've been getting from that and look forward to keep using them. I do wish that the shampoo had a little pump too, but it is what it is. As far as the body wash, this is just amazing. This is my Soap and Glory. This is Sweet Lime Fragrance. This is their Fresh and Foamy Body Wash with lime oil, kiwi water juice, and skin softening omega rich veggie oil. This makes your skin feel like you don't even need to put lotion on after. And this is really, really good for those of us that like to self tan because it keeps that moisturized going to make your tan look really good and I think it prolongs a little, it would almost have to prolong your self tan or your natural tan um, somewhat, but really love this, love the smell of this. I did just see an orange, I almost hit myself in the face with that. I did just see an orange crush and I think I'm gonna have to try that too, but love this, it's always gone. I only have that much left, but definite favorite. Something, you guys know that last year I got a bunch of self tanners drugstore and higher end. My fa favorite was the Vita Liberata. Love that self-tan system. Um, I like San Tropez too. There's several that I like and that I enjoy. And I do prefer the mousse application. I feel like it dries quicker and it's less tacky. Well, before I let myself buy any more, I am determined to go through what I have here back stock, which means I probably won't have to buy any this summer. <laughs> But I came across this and I thought, oh, I don't want to use this. It's drugstore and it says two to three week tan. Are you kidding? Streak free? Are you kidding? Instant collar? Black bronzers? Hmm. This. LA Tan. Luxury Sunless Mousse Black Bronzing. This is in medium. This is in medium. Okay, you know what? You bought it, girl. You're going to use it. So I'm like, all right, and I pull this into the bathroom. I'll use this up. And I used it. And I was like, wow, this tan looks really nice. I mean, I was really impressed with it. Okay, okay. I can be friends with this. So then the next day, got up, got in the shower. And then I saw this back in my cup. What was I looking? I was looking for something. I don't remember what I was looking for. And I saw this and I thought, oh, luxury tan extending moisturizer. Flawless results. Longer tans, touch of collar, skin conditioning. Okay. First thing I did was smell it. it smells really good. Okay. I like it. I thought, okay, I'll use it because I had ran out of my Jergens. The gradual tan, I ran out of that. So I started using this. Wow. Wow. This legit 
with this. This is $9.97 at Walmart, $9.98, something like that. This is $4.97. You have about 15 bucks in these two. If you do this, and you do this two times a week, you have 10. And it does work in nice, it does work in very nicely. Now, of course, you know, I make some, I can make, I make mistakes in tanning still, you know. But, these to be drugstore, I am super impressed. So, I did want to share that with you because, hey, even if it's drugstore, if I find something that impresses me, I'm going to share it with you guys. And this has really, really impressed me. But yeah, these two together, this standing alone and doing your lotion works beautifully. But when you put these two together, this gives a lot more color than the Jergens Gradual Tan. But seriously, I think I'm going to do like not tan my legs and then just use this and see what kind of a tan builds from this. So just out of curiosity. But check that out if you're looking for something from the drugstore tan, tan wise. That is it for my monthly favorites. These are the things that really have stood out to me in the month of June. Like I said, that I haven't gone over rambling about in one of my weekend reviews. So I hope that you enjoyed this. Thank you again, Natalie and Amy, for inviting me to do this collab with you ladies. I love you both so, so much. I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Have a great weekend. Great start to the new week. And I will see you in the next video. Don't forget, their links are going to be down there. Check out Amy and Natalie's videos. Love you guys. Bye.